In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, you are very welcome this evening for the Holy Mass. And today we will hear that the mother of the sons of Zebedee is looking for security for her two sons. Mothers are like that. And that is why we always go to Mary. We feel secure when we go to him and through him, through, we go to Mary and through her then to Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord tells us today that true security is found in God, especially in this time of Lent, by dedicating ourselves in prayer, in abstaining and in helping those brothers and sisters who are in need. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our failures and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so confirm them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Come on, they said. Let us concoct a plot against Jeremiah. The priest will not run short of instruction without him, nor the sage of advice, nor the prophet of the word. Come on, let us hit at him with his own tongue. Let us listen carefully to every word he says. Listen to me, Lord. Hear what my adversaries are saying. Should evil be returned for good, for they are digging a pit for me, remember how I stood in your presence to plead on their behalf, to turn your wrath away from them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the response is, Save me in your love, O Lord. Save me. Release me from the snares they have hidden, for you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. Save me in your love, O Lord. I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. Save me in your love, O Lord. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. 
Save me in your love, O Lord. And the gospel acclamation. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Thank you, Lord. Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, and on the way he took the twelve to one side and said to them, Now we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man is about to be handed over to the chief priests and scribes. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the pagans to be mocked and scourged and crucified. And on the third day he will rise again. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came with her sons to make a request of him. And bowed low, and he said to her, What is it you want? She said to him, Promise that these two sons of mine may one sit at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus answered. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, We can. Very well, he said. You shall drink my cup, but as for seats at my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted by my father. When the other ten heard this, they were indignant with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that among the pagans the rulers lord it over them, and their great men make the authority felt. This is not to happen among you. No, anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant, and anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be saved, but to save, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrifice, sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, undo the bonds, the, the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brenda, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but you only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Son of Man did not come to be saved, but to save and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immoral immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Bestow upon your servants, O Lord, abundance of grace and protection, grant health of mind and body, grant fullness of fraternal charity, and make them always devoted to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May your almighty God bless Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in.